Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo992 and today we are back for another brand new video. We've done our business, we took care of our own job and we cut that gap to six freaking points. Extremely nervous about this game, I think I was talking about in yesterday's, uh, uh, yesterday's prediction video where none of us got the full point, we all got half a point so everyone sort of stays where they are. So if you follow that series, me, Sharp Dev and Paul at Seas are all tied for first. Bazbowski's dead last. Okay, so I'll use it's like, I trust Bowski. He's last. Okay, start paying attention. Jump on the money train. I've got f four right out of 39. My failures aside, the Rangers boys took care of business. I go from Jamie Murphy, who's just getting better and better and better. We're going to speak about him in just a minute. And also Russell Martin, congratulations, aka Spencer Owen. CJ Novo asked you to get involved in the video. You say yes. Hashtag Spencer's a blue nose. Go his first goal for the squad and it was taken very well. So if we ever accept this amount of money for Morelos, put Martin up front. Listen to me. I feel like we need to talk about Jamie Murphy first before we go on. There was a lot of people that really stood out today. So I apologise if I haven't mentioned them. We'll go into more depth tomorrow with me and Snags during our player ratings live. And you guys can join in and get involved. You can certainly do that tomorrow, probably about 7 o'clock. But the players I want to speak about for my actual fan recap, I have to start with Jamie Murphy. He's just getting better and better and better. His first couple of games, a lot of people were saying, what we sort of bought, bought here? He's not really doing much. He doesn't look fit. He wasn't fit. It wasn't. It is getting fitter and fitter, and he's just influencing the game more and more. It was absolutely terrorising um, their, like, what was their right back, sorry, just cutting inside, back and forth. Either way, he's both, he's comfortable on both feet, and you just saw that. The defence never knew what to do with him. Um, he got another goal. His goal was sheer quality. If Jordan Jones had to score the world the other day, it'd be goal of the month. Or if I never scored his free kick yesterday. <laughs> what, what do you mean I've used that clip too many times already? I mean, back to the Murphy goal. Because he's just the twinkle toes. It reminded me a lot of uh, Nazari's goal for Arsenal years and years and years ago against Man City. Where he just kind of twinkle toes, twinkle toes, delayed, 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 delayed. And then finished beautifully, showing his pure class. And that is why we bring him to the club. He loves the badge, but he's actually a good player. You know, it's weird having these boys now that love the badge and everything that, that actually is good. <laughs> I love you, Halliday. I'm just messing with you. Uh, so, yeah, he played very well for that entire first half. He didn't even got it at the second half. You can see he's getting fitter because he's influencing the game a lot longer now. I thought he was dying off about the 60th minute too much. He's just getting better and better. Him and Kandias on either side, I don't care what, what team you play for in that league. I think that's the best left mid and right mid in the entire league. Personally, when they're both on form, they're just frightening. And let's jump over to Kandias. Now, I didn't list him in the poll, and the reason I didn't do that is, again, experimenting with the other Remember, we've got this wee poll myth where um, if you don't put them as the top three, no one's going to vote for them. So I've left it open. I've not checked the poll results. I don't know who's there, but he's not actually listed. I can imagine he's probably going to be winning at him and Doherty, who we'll speak about in a minute too. Kandias again, mate. Energy. You should have had about three or four assists today if Windass could have finished his dinner. Tremendous. Just ran all day. You and Tab partnership's absolutely awesome. But I want to move on to Greg Doherty now, because Doherty... It's kind of splitting the fans down the middle, especially in the last couple of games, especially against Hamilton, actually. There was a fierce reaction back and forth with some argument saying, oh, he was mince, and other people saying he was brilliant. I thought he was great today. Was he a bit wasteful in possession sometimes? Yes. Did he win the ball back nearly every single time? Battled box to box? Yes. Never stopped running? Yes. Just, he was doing everything. It was, it's hard to explain. I know it might not show up in stats or anything like that, but if you look at the game and you watch every minute he played, he seemed to be involved in every single thing in one way or other. If it was creating space for someone to run a gap into it offensively or covering someone else in the, uh, the hearts when they did, because they didn't have too much of the ball. What did they have, like 42% of the ball or something? Maybe 44, something like that. Um, they didn't have the ball often, but he saw his movement. He just knew where to go. And it was just, he's basically the white canty. Is that racist? Somebody, just lawyer up, just in case. And I'm being serious. He was nuts. So shout out to him. If I'm picking a man of the match, honestly, that's who I'd go with. I know Murphy will probably steal the headlines. I know Candace will steal the headlines. But Doherty, mate, fantastic. If you if you just paid attention to every single thing he done there, he was brilliant. On and off the ball. Fantastic overall performance from Greg Dockery. Other wee person I want to give a wee shout out was obviously Martin who had a good game. Tav, Declan John had a very solid game. Morelos is my sort of weak link of today's video or the fan recap. I thought his distribution was terrible. 
A lot of his passes were very, very poor. But I'll get more of that tomorrow. Let's just focus on the positives. Great overall result. Everyone worked hard. They, they played like they knew what it meant. And that's the first time I think we can say that. Because there was a lot of questions being asked after the Hibs game. But I think every single player that played the day knew what that what this result meant. And it's a bright don't he? Six freaking points, lads. And ladettes. Almost forgot there? Nope. Right, before I jump over to the poll, you know what time is. Grab your refreshments. It's time for it. I love just doing... I love doing sponsor breaks when we're winning. Am I trying to find my juice again? Because I can't... I've lost it. No. Nah. No. Nah. I didn't worry about it. Where is it? There it's down here. Alright, right. So that was all planned. So three, two, one. Sponsor break. <laughs> Ooh, tidy. Sharp, Andy. No one cares. Right, the poll that I've surprisingly still never got loaded up. We'll have to get near that 10 minute mark for that YouTube money, lads. Eh? <laughs> Fun fact after today, we are we have scored 55 goals, we've got 55 points, and we're chasing 55. Illuminati confirmed. Right, the poll, as you sort of expect for these type of things, absolute madness. 430. Wait, it's crashing. Why is it not let me view my tweet? What the... Money match, I can sort of read the, the results. I'll try and load up the comments and I'll make a cut in the video and I'll try and fire them in. But anyway, the three players that I, met, I mentioned up was Martin because I thought he was outstanding all day. His distribution out the way. And defensively, I think he's an online leader. An on-the-pitch leader. Um, he's kind of what I thought Alves was going to be, if I'm honest with you. Dockery, who I mentioned, and Jamie Murphy, who's just getting better and better and better. Other... The myth's real. No one's voting other. Right, so Martin only got 3%. Other... Basically, Candias only got eight percent. Murphy got thirty-seven percent, but Dockery got fifty-two percent of the votes. Absolutely love that. Oh, I just imagine his big smile. If only he knew about me. Andy Ritchie says Andy Ritchie twelve says Dockery carried the game, mate. Great performance. Completely agreed. And I went agreed, mate. He was a bear. A bear. Range. <clears throat> Suzanne at that footy fan who has a YouTube channel, go and subscribe. Kandias, man and match, he was all over the right wing and didn't give up. Ian Graham says, great performance. Docker, Kandias and Murphy all were great today. Three points and a clean sheet. Can't ask for much more. We just need to be more ruthless in front of goal. Bring on St. Johnson. What a fantastic comment from Ian Graham. Couldn't agree. And that's based on my video. Ian Graham's just embarrassed me in my own video. What are we about seven minutes in? And Ian Graham summed up the recap in four, five lines. Different class, Ian. Love it. Jason Ford. It's forward, didn't it? And I fucked it. Sorry, Jason. Wasn't just Dockery, Candias, uh, Candia, sorry, Murphy and Gosper were also outstanding. J Fletcher at J Fletcher 1872 said, Got more frustrated than I needed to. I'm exactly the same, mate. But I'm buzzing. Murphy, Candias, Dockery, Martin and Tav were standouts. Overall to that, over to that lot, we welcome the chase. We do indeed. Was that a plug for Snags' podcast? Andy Wilson says, Andrew G. Wilson said, didn't watch the game, so based on my dad saying Murphy's goal was great, so I'm voting for him. <laughs> I love that, mate. Tidy. Uh, CN says, Kieran, CN. Most half my viewers. Kandias by about 55 miles. Robert Letlier, close enough, voted other for the man, the myth, the legend, Kandias. The man's work rate was unmatched both defensively and offensively, and another assist in the bag. Dockery and Murphy have both really grown into the shirt, both with a really strong performance. Six effing points and he sent the creepiest gif of all time can i get this copyright copyright and the last two i'm gonna do it comes from ross cameron says first game in a while where we controlled the majority of it and nobody had a bad game oh fair enough i thought the weakest link of my game was morales but that's not me picking on them lads all right you had okay just saying just saying had three three attempts to put somebody through um man of the match close between dockery and Diaz, uh, murphy and wait what also, Goss, the Cranchar we needed last season. Fantastic comment. I thought you were actually trying to be wide and say Cranchar. I was about to block you and report you. S. Miller RFC says, Candy S. by a mile ran his heart out and again as a usual great attacking and defensive display. Why says name not on the list, CJ? Better have a good explanation for this. It's to prove the Twitter myth that if you didn't list someone, they can't win a poll. That's what others for. You know what I'm saying? Learn it. Um, that's basically me. I'm just in a good mood, honestly. I've been working. I'm working to went to Tuesday. I'm absolutely depressed about that. But the Rangers suppliers with three points over Agent McKinnis tomorrow. <laughs> and yeah, I've been CJ over 92. That has been Andy. Thank you for watching and bye bye. <laughs> so I've just asked Div's permission to hit it with a wee bit more power. So we're really going to go for this one.
Thank you. Simply.